Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I have been posting on previously, Microsoft could be planning to start releasing new major Windows versions every three years again. And um, they are also going to be releasing more frequent feature updates for Windows several times per year. Now those more frequent feature updates several times per year, as many of you may know, are already happening and are already rolling out. And we have already received our first wave of new features for Windows 11 version 22H2, also known as the Moment 1 update, which rolled out uh, in October, started rolling out in October of this year. And a quick recap on that update was that it introduced um, the tabs to the File Explorer, which I think was a key highlight for that update, uh, new suggested actions, and then a taskbar overflow menu for your ex access icons and apps on the taskbar, which can be accessed in an overflow menu. And that's just a quick recap of some of the features. There were a lot more than that. Now, um, the Moment 2 update we are expecting, as I had been posting on previously, to roll out early next year. And there are reports uh, suggesting that that could be rolling out in February or March of 2023. Um, although not confirmed yet by Microsoft, but there is a strong possibility we will be getting Moment 2 or the second wave of new features early next year. Now, um, I have posted a whole video on some of those new features which we can expect to see with Moment 2, and I'll leave a link to that in the description. But just to do a very quick recap for the purpose of today's video, um, we are expecting to see and get animated icons. And when you hover your mouse over icons, they will become animated um, in different aspects of the operating system. So that's a new feature that could possibly roll out. Um, seconds being displayed in the system tray clock as an option. Expanded widgets, where currently we get one widget board and expanded widgets um, that will have two, a double widget board, so to speak, and will become a full screen widgets board, giving the option to expand and minimize that. Um, taskbar search, um, as mentioned even earlier today, I think it was, we are expecting to see um, a new Windows 10 search box roll out with a fluent design to match that of Windows 11, where you can actually type into the search box um, for a search, unlike how it currently is, where you just get this button that opens the search and then just head into the task manager, a new task manager search that will let you search through your uh, process IDs and your tasks, which I think will be a great addition. So those are just some of the features, not mentioned in all of them, just some of the features we are expecting to see roll out in Moment 2. Now, um, there are new reports that are suggesting that Moment 3, which will be the third wave of new features, will be rolling out in May of next year, 2023. So that means we are going to be getting two waves of new features rolling out um, possibly in the first half of next year 2023 so a lot will be going on in windows 11 early next year with a lot of new features coming and then obviously um, we are expecting to see the next major feature update roll out near the end of next year 2023 which will be um, version 23h2 and then after that in 2024 other version 24h2 or windows 12 as i have been posting on and it is possible that Microsoft could be, as I mentioned, releasing a new major Windows version every three years. And there is a possibility that in 2024, we will get Windows 12. But as mentioned, that has never been confirmed by Microsoft, but there are reports that are suggesting that. So just letting you know, Moment 2 expected to arrive in February, March of next year, and Moment 3 possibly ex expected to roll out in May. And the features rolling out, uh, in the May uh, 2023 Moment 3 update um, have not been confirmed yet. Um, it's not known at this stage exactly what Microsoft will roll out, but there are a couple of, a whole lot of features being tested currently in the Insider program. And um, as mentioned, some of those will roll out in Moment 2, and I could expect then, and we could suggest that what we don't get in Moment 2 will then overflow into Moment 3 as the two feature updates are quite close together. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.